वेलकम स्टूडेंट ना वी कंटिन्यू स्टेट लाइन एंड दिस इज थर्ड लेक्चर ना वी जस्ट ट्राई टू रिड्यूस द जनरल फॉर्म ऑफ स्टेट लाइन इक्वेशन ए एक्स प्लस बी वाई प्लस सी इक्वल टू जीरो टू अदर फॉर्म्स दैट फॉर्म मे बी रिडक्शन टू स्लोप इंटरसेप्ट फॉर्म सेकेंड इट मे बी रिडक्शन टू इंटरसेप्ट फॉर्म एंड थर्ड इट मे बी रिडक्शन टू नॉर्मल फॉर्म सो फर्स्ट रिडक्शन टू स्लोप इंटरसेप्ट फॉर्म सो इक्वेशन इन जनरल फॉर्म इज ए एक्स प्लस बी वाई प्लस सी इक्वल टू जीरो स्लोप इंटरसेप्ट फॉर्म इज वाइट दिस इज वाई इज इक्वल टू एम एक्स प्लस सी सो दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज बी वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस ए एक्स माइनस सी दिस इम्प्लाइज वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस ए बाई बी एक्स एंड माइनस सी बाई बी Now we compare this equation with y is equal to m x plus c. So here, this m is equal to minus a by b, and c is equal to minus c by b. It means this line a x plus b y plus c having slope minus a by b. and intersect y axis at minus c by b so in this way we can reduce any general equation in y is equal to mx plus c form now next reduction that is reduction to intercept form again we have equation in general form is ax plus by plus c equal to 0 so intercept form is what this is x by a plus y by b equal to 1 so we write it as ax plus by equal to minus c now in right side we have one only so divide both side by minus c So when you divide both side by minus c, we will get minus a by c x minus b by c y equal to one. Now we arrange this equation like this: minus c by a plus y minus c by b equal to 1 so when you compare this equation with x by a plus y by b equal to 1 you will get a is equal to minus c by a and b is equal to minus c by b it means by reducing this equation x plus b y plus c equal to 0 in this form we get this line intersect x axis at minus c by a 0 and y axis at 0 minus c by b it means x intercept minus c by and y intercept minus c by b so this is the benefit of reduction of x plus b i plus c into x by a plus y b equal to 1 now third one is very important that is how to reduce ax plus b y plus c equal to 0 in normal form normal form means x cos alpha plus y sin alpha equal to minus equal to p means we can write it as minus p equal to 0 now compare these two equation so when you compare these two equation we will get a by cos alpha equal to b by sin alpha equal to minus c by p let 
this is equal to k. So, a is equal to k cos alpha, b is equal to k sin alpha and c is equal to minus p k or p is equal to minus c y k. Squaring these two and add. So, a square plus b square is equal to k square cos square alpha plus sin square alpha is equal to k square as sin square alpha plus cos square alpha equal to 1. k is equal to what? k is equal to plus minus root under a square plus b square. Now, we have c is equal to minus p k. So, c is equal to minus p k, c is equal to minus p k, this implies p is equal to minus c by k is equal to minus c by plus minus root under a square plus b square. So, we have two cases. So, case 1 when c less than 0, then p is equal to c by minus root under a square plus b square and second when c greater than 0 then p is equal to c by a square root a square plus b square but this is positive so in this way we can reduce x plus b y plus c in normal form and this p is nothing but the distance of line from origin. This p will give the distance of line from origin. So, finally, we reduce a x plus b y plus c equal to 0 implies plus minus a by root under a square plus b square x plus minus b by root under a square plus b square y is equal to root under a square plus b square c by root under a square plus b square. So, this is the reduction of general equation in normal form. Now, we have some example on various forms of equation of straight lines. So, first problem is find the equation of a straight line through the point minus 1 to making an angle of 135 degree with the x axis. So, this line making angle 135 degree with the x axis. So, given theta equal to 135 degree. So, this implies m is equal to 10 theta means 10 135 degree and 10 135 degree equal to minus 1. So, slope of this line is minus 1 and since this line is passing through minus 1 to so line passing through 
माइनस वन माइनस टू y माइनस वाई वन एम एक्स माइनस एक्स वन मीन्स बाई यूजिंग पॉइंट स्लो फॉर्म इम्प्लाइज y प्लस टू इक्वल टू माइनस वन एक्स प्लस वन सो एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस थ्री इक्वल टू जीरो इज अ रिक्वायर्ड इक्वेशन ऑफ लाइन ना फाइन द इक्वेशन ऑफ लाइन पासिंग थ्रू टू थ्री एंड मेकिंग इक्वल इंटरसेप्ट ऑन द कॉर्डिनेट एक्सिस मीन्स दिचुएसन इज लाइक दिस दिस इज एक्स एक्सिस दिस इज वाई एक्सिस This is zero. We have to find the equation of this line, which makes equal intercept. This is A, and this is B. Means coordinate of this point is A zero, and this point is zero. And this line passing through some point P two. What will be the equation of this line? So, since intercept is equal, so we use intercept form. Let intercepts are a and a according to question. So equation of line in intercept form is x by a plus y by a equal to one. This implies x plus y equal to a. Now this line x plus y equal to a passing through two three. So say this is line L. So line L passing through two three, it means this point must satisfy the equation of line. So two plus three equal to a. This implies a is equal to five. So This line makes equal intercept a equal to five and a equal to five. So equation of line is x by five plus y by five equal to one. This implies x plus y equal to five. Now another example. That is, find the equation of line passing through the point one, two, and zero five. Given line L passing through, say a one two and b zero five. So equation of line AB. So equation of line AB by using two point four, or you can find slope of this line. So just find slope of line. So slope of line. AB. Y two minus y one means five minus two, five minus two by x two minus x one, so zero minus one means minus three. Now you just take either 
a 1 2 or b 0 5. So, say this line passing through a 1 2. So, equation of line a b a b passing through 1 to a 1 to with slope minus 3 is again point slope form. So, y minus y 1 m x minus x 1. So, y minus 2 minus 3 x minus 1. So, this implies 3 x plus y and minus 5 equal to 0. So, in this way we can find equation of line passing through any two points. Now, another example determine the equation of line with alpha equal to 135 degree and perpendicular distance p equal to root 2 from the origin. Here, well, alpha is what? Alpha is we have to find the equation of this line and what is given? This p is given and this alpha is given. This two information is given and this is 90 degree. P means normal or perpendicular from origin to the line L. So, given alpha is equal to 135 degree and p is equal to root 2. So, equation of line L x cos alpha plus y sin alpha equal to p means x cos 135 degree plus y sin 135 degree equal to p. So, x cos 135 degree equal to minus 1 by root 2. So, this is minus x by root 2 plus sin 135 degree 1 by root 2. So, y by root 2 is equal to root 2. So, this implies minus x plus y is equal to 2. So, x minus y plus 2 equal to 0 is the equation of line when these two information is given. Now, another example find the angle between the line when the equation of two line is given as 3 x plus y minus 7 equal to 0 x plus y plus 9 equal to 0. So, given L 1 line 1 is 3 x plus y minus 7 equal to 0 and L 2 x plus 2 y plus 9 equal to 0. So, slope is what? So, m 1 is equal to m 1 is equal to minus 3 and m 2 is equal to minus 1 by 2. We just reduce this two equation in slope intercept form and we will get the value of purpose of this problem is how to reduce and get the value of m 1 and m 2 
and when we get the value of m1 and m2, it is very easy. Let theta be the angle between angle between line L1 and L2. So, tan theta is equal to mod m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2 is equal to mod minus 3 plus 1 by 2 1 plus 3 into 1 by 2. So, minus 6 this will becomes minus 5 by 2 and this is 5 by 2 and mod. We will get plus minus 1. So, plus minus 10 theta equal to plus minus 1. When you open the mod, we will get plus minus 1. So, this sign plus will give the acute angle and this minus sign will give the obtuse angle. The angle between, so when 10 theta equal to 1, this implies theta equal to pi by 4 and when 10 theta equal to minus 1, then theta equal to 3 pi by 4. So, we just find the value of acute angle, we will give the value of obtuse angle also. So, in this way we can find the angle between two lines now. Another example is we have to reduce this equation x plus 3 y plus 4 equal to 0 to perpendicular for and hence find the length of the perpendicular from the origin on the straight line. So, given equation x plus root 3 y plus 4 equal to 0. So, a is equal to 1, b is equal to root 3 and c is equal to 4. So, length of perpendicular first of all reduce the equation in normal form. So, a square plus b square is equal to 1 plus 3 equal to 4. So, square root of a square plus b square is equal to plus minus 2. Since c is positive Since C is greater than 0, this implies square root of A square plus B square is plus 2. Equation in normal form. a by root under a square plus b square x plus b by root under a square plus b square y is equal to c by yani p 
So, C by means 4 by root under A square plus B square. This implies the value of A is 1, 1 by 2 x plus and the value of B is root 3 by 2 y is equal to and the value of C is 4 by 2. So, this is what x cos pi by 3 plus y sin pi by 3 is equal to 2. So, alpha is equal to pi by 3 and p is equal to 2. So, this is what? This is distance of line perpendicular distance of line from origin. So, in this way we can reduce any equation in normal form. Now, another example, find the equation of a straight line which passes through the point minus 1 3 and is perpendicular to the line 4 x plus 3 y plus 1 equal to 0. It means, we have to find the equation of line say this is a line, say this is a line and we have to find the equation of this line which passing through p minus 1 3 and perpendicular to this line 4 x plus 3 y plus 1 equal to 0. Say this line is L or say L 1 and the line whose equation we have to find say this is L 2. So, slope of L 1 given equation of line given equation of line L 1 4 x plus 3 y plus 1 equal to 0. So, slope of L 1 slope of L 1 that is m 1 is equal to minus 4 by 3, minus 4 by 3. Since L 1 perpendicular to L 2 according to question. So, slope of it means say the slope of this line is m 1 and slope of this line is m 2. So, these two lines are perpendicular. So, m 1 cross m 2 is equal to minus 1. This implies m 2 is equal to minus 1 by m 1 means 3 by 4. Now, for this line L 2, we have slope is known and this line passing through p minus 1 2. So, equation of line L 2 passing through p 
P minus 1 3 is y minus y 1 and y minus 3 equal to 3 by 4 x plus 1. This implies 4 y minus 12 equal to 3 x plus 3. This implies 3 x minus 4 y plus 15 equal to 0. So, in this way we can find the perpendicular line to the given line. We can also find the line parallel to given line by using the concept when line is parallel to given line then slope is equal and rest is same. Now, find the equation of line which passes through the point 3 1 and bisect the portion of line 3 x plus 4 y equal to 12 intercepted between coordinate axis. So, we have to find the equation of line which passes through the point 3 1 and bisect the portion of line means this line is 3 x plus 4 y plus 12. 3 x plus 4 y equal to 12. This line is, say this line is L 1 is 3 x plus 4 y equal to 12. The portion of line between coordinate axis is A B. So, given line 3 x plus 4 y equal to 12. So, reduce this line in intercept form. So, when you reduce this line in intercept form divide both side by 12. So, when you divide both side by 12 it means this is x y 4 plus y by 3 equal to 1. It means a is equal to what? a is equal to 4 0 and b is equal to 0 3. We have to find the equation of say this line which passes through the point 3 1 passes through the point say this point is 3 1 and bisect the portion of line. It means this point say this point is say q. This q, q, q is midpoint of a b this q is. So, according to question p q r line say like this is line l 2 line L 2 bisect bisect L 1 at Q. So, Q is the midpoint. So, Q is the midpoint of A B. So, coordinate of q is what? Coordinate of q is 4 plus 0 by 2 and 0 plus 3 by 2. That is q 2 3 by 2. The equation of line L 2 can be easily find because we have two points of this line is known that is q 2 3 2 and p 3 1. Now, p q 
now line L2 that is PQ passing through P31 and Q23 by 2. Slope of PQ y2 minus y1 means 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 minus 3. So, this is 1 by 2 and minus 1 means minus 1 by 2. So, equation of line equation of p q y minus 1 minus 1 by 2 x minus 3 implies 2 y minus 2 equal to minus x plus 3. So, x plus 2 y minus 5 equal to 0. Next problem, by using the concept of equation of line, prove that 3.30 minus 2 minus 2 and a 2 are collinear. So, say the three points are given three points A three zero B minus two minus two and C A two. So, first of all find the equation of line A B. So, equation of A B equation of A B y minus 0 equal to zero minus two by zero plus two by three plus two and x minus three. Mean this is slope of line A B. So y minus zero means y is equal to 2 by 5 and x minus 3 implies 5y equal to 2x minus 6. This implies 2x minus 5y minus 6 equal to 0. Now, check whether this, this point C A 2 satisfy this equation or not. So, put x equal to 8 and y equal to 2 in the equation of line. So, 2 into 8 minus 5 into 2 minus 6 equal to 16 minus 16 equal to 0. Hence, C A 2 satisfied the equation. So, C A 2 lies on the line A B. So, C A 2 lies on the line. 
it means all these three points ABC are collinear. So, in this way we can check whether the line, whether the points are collinear or not by using the concept of equation of line. Now, find the equation of line passing through 1, 2 and making an angle 30 degree with the y axis. So, what is given? This is x, this is y axis, and this is 0. So, this line makes angle 30 degree with the y axis. It means situation is like this. So, this angle is what? This angle is 30 degree. Line L max 30 degree with y axis. So, if this angle is 30 degree, it means this angle is also 30 degree. So, this angle is what? This angle is 60 degree. So, this angle is 60 degree. So, this line L makes 60 degree with the x axis. So, this implies L makes 60 degree with x axis. So, slope equal to 10 60 degree means root 3. So, equation of line, so equation of L which passing through P 1 2 L passing through P 1 2 is y minus 2 equal to root 3 x minus 1. So, this implies root 3 x minus y minus y plus 1 plus plus 2 minus root 3 equal to 0. So, root 3 x minus y plus 2 minus root 3 equal to 0. Here, 2 minus root 3 is the value of c. So, this is the equation of line for the given formation. Now, another problem. The perpendicular from the origin to the line y equal to m x plus c meet it at the point minus 1, 2. Find the value of m and c. So, again this is situation like this, this is say L y equal to m x plus c, y is equal to m x plus c and meet at perpendicular. So, this is origin this is y axis, x axis. So, perpendicular from this origin this meet at minus 1 2. So, this information is given and we have to find the value of this m and c. So, slope of O p is equal to y 2 minus y 1 means say 0 minus 2 by 0 plus 1 is equal to 
माइनस टू इक्वल टू माइनस स्लोप ऑफ दिस ओ पी इज माइनस टू सो इक्वेशन ऑफ स्लोप ऑफ ओ पी इज माइनस टू सेंस दिस ओ पी इज परपेंडिकुलर टू एल सेंस ओ पी इज परपेंडिकुलर टू एल दैट इज वाई इज इक्वल टू एम एक्स प्लस सी सो स्लोप ऑफ एल इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन बाय से दिस इज एम वन एम वन सो माइनस वन बाय एम वन इज इक्वल टू वन बाय टू एंड से दिस स्लोप ऑफ एल इज एम टू so equation of line l y minus 2 equal to 1 by 2 x plus 1 because this slope of this line l is 1 by 2 and this line passing through p minus 1 2 so this implies 2y minus 4 is equal to x plus 1 this implies 2y is equal to x plus 5 this implies y is equal to 1 by 2 x plus Five by two. Now compare this with y equal to m x plus c. So you this implies m is equal to one by two, and c is equal to five by two. So in this way we can find the value of m and c of the line L. Now another problem. That is the point P one two and R zero minus one are the two opposite vertices of rhombus PQRS. Find the equation of the diagonal QS. So vertices of rhombus is given. That is only two vertices given. This is. So rhombus is a parallelogram whose all the sides are equal. Now we have given P, Q, R, S. So P one two and R zero minus one. and we have to find the equation of diagonal qs equation of diagonal qs equal to what we know that the diagonal of rhombus bisect each other and perpendicular to each other means diagonal of diagonals of rhombus are perpendicular bisector of each other it means this angle is 90 degree and this point say o is the midpoint of both pr and qs and this o obviously lies on both diagonals in the figure O is the midpoint of PR. 
So, coordinate of O is 1 plus 0 by 2 and 2 minus 1 by 2 that is 1 by 2 and 1 by 2. 1 information about this diagonal Q s is now known that 1 point 1 by 2 1 by 2 lies on this Q s. Now, slope of this P r slope of P r say this is m is equal to y 2 minus y 1. So, say 2 plus 1 by 1 minus 0. So, slope of P r is 3. Since this P r is perpendicular to Q s, so slope of Q s is equal to minus 1 by 3. This diagonal Q s having slope minus 1 by 3 and passing through point 1 by 2, 1 by 2. So, this point is 1 by 2, 1 by 2. So, equation of diagonal Q s y minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 x minus 1 by 2 implies implies so this is 2 y minus 1 by 2 equal to minus 1 by 3 2 x minus 1 by 2 2 2 cancel. So, this is what? This is 6 y minus 6 y minus 6 y plus 3 minus 6 y plus 3 is equal to 2 x minus 1 this implies 2 x plus 6 y and minus 4 equal to 0 and when you simplify it you will get x plus 3 y minus 2 equal to 0 will be the equation of diagonal of diagonal q s. Okay, we discuss in another section. Okay, thank you.